Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, we're going to be looking at the new NVIDIA driver version 466.77. I've decided not to include all my settings in each video since I don't want to become repetitive. So if you want to see my latest settings, just click on the link above and it'll take you to the previous video. So here we are sitting on the runway at Luckler Airport in Nepal. And some of you may be surprised to see me in the Citation CJ4, but anyway. I probably shouldn't be doing it, taking off from this airport in this jet, but we'll go for it anyway. The intention of this video is just to give a short demonstration of how the new driver is performing in VR. I've got the FPS displayed for you at the top right hand corner. Just remember that I'm using motion reprojection, therefore the FPS count is quite low, but I'm getting really smooth and clear results as you can see. There's not too much to say in terms of difference from the last driver update. I do like to update my graphics drivers regularly not just for the sim but also for other things on my PC like editing software and one of my new games Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2 brilliant game if you like that kind of thing a lot of sniping and stealth brilliant game highly recommended as you can see out the window I'm close to the mountains and you can see a lot of detail a lot of the trees a lot of the different tones of green and browns really clear really smooth just what you want in VR so just to remind you this is driver version 466.77 it was released on the 10th of June so that was just yesterday I definitely think it's worth an update guys just to check your system see if you get any better performance the more feedback I get on my channel about different people's experiences with different cards and different processes is really interesting so I really think that it's always worth a try with your own system and to see how it changes things to see if it improves any VR performance frame rates or clarity whatever it is it's definitely worth updating the driver, for example, and trying it. And if you don't like it, just revert back to the old one. No problem there. But yeah, definitely the more feedback I get, the more people I speak to about their systems and what they're experiencing in the simulator in VR, it's definitely different combinations do different things to different people's systems. Sometimes people get enhanced results from one thing and some people get enhanced results from another thing. Uh, so yeah, definitely worth an update, guys. To be honest, I wasn't really sure about doing a video for this update because I don't want to become really repetitive with what I present on my channel. But at the same time, I think it's important that you know these updates are covered. Just in a short demonstration, if that helps people to see any differences or any differences that I've found that may be um, related to your own system. So that's the reason why I've done this. So I'll continue to keep doing the updated driver videos uh, just for your information, basically, and to sort of double check on how the performance is going in these updates. Anyway guys, I hope this video was helpful. Please remember to like and subscribe if you find my content useful and interesting. In the meantime guys, as always, take care and stay safe.